No, I don't waste no time Okay guys and welcome to today's uh, video lesson how to go from zero to six figures with your social media marketing agency and uh, as I already mentioned in, in the introduction uh, we're going to be doing this with zero upfront capital so if you are starting from zero I'm basically going to explain to you in this lesson how you can do that and basically how you can build it up and the great thing about social media marketing is that you don't need uh, an, an upfront investment as opposed to for example dropship and amazon fba etc you know with this business model you can start from scratch you can start from zero and that is how i started as well and uh, i'm just very very grateful to have this business model um you know to basically to have discovered this business model because it has changed my life for the better so i'll just do a quick recap of um basically yesterday's lesson or the the previous lesson uh, because i'm not going to be uploading this right away um so in the previous lesson, I basically gave you guys a, a checklist or a starter pack, if you will, to earn a hundred dollars, pounds, euros a day with social media marketing. So I'm just going to quickly recap that, and then we can start with the video. If you have not checked out uh, the previous video, highly recommend you do. Uh, you can just watch this video. It's not attached to the previous video in any way, shape, or form. So just watch this and then go back to the previous video um, if you haven't done so. So in the starter uh, checklist video, I basically mentioned four things. You need to pick a niche. You need to pick a service write out your mission statements and pick a method of outreach so in terms of picking a niche i always recommend to play the field a little bit um what i always say is you know basically experience what it's like to work with different industries different niches but also experience what it's like to work with clients that are not a right fit for you clients that are actually way too big for you clients that are just far too small for you etc make those mistakes early on like i said you know get those experiences under your belt early on because you will learn a lot from them and over time you'll you'll figure out you know by yourself almost which niche you actually enjoy working with what niche you can get results for and what kind of clients you actually want because i think that the type of client is also very very important do you have that click with the client can you have that banter with the client um or do you want to keep it very formal with the clients and does the client accept your uh, space etc you know figure out for yourself what kind of clients you want to work with and over time you know you'll be able to find those clients so when picking a niche and when you're starting out write down for yourself uh well five niches that you are passionate about five niches you are knowledgeable about and five niches that you understand how to get results for okay because when you're starting out you don't actually know how to get the results so just think to yourself okay what is the result or the outcome that this niche wants okay get them all together like this and basically you know you will be left with a few niches here in the middle and then from there you sort of have a starting point and you know uh, where to start with when you're doing your outreach etc so when we are picking a niche, what we basically want to do is find a niche that is in situation A and they want to go to situation B. For example, if you have a, you know, if you go into the gym niche and you have a gym that has, for example, a thousand members and they want to get to 2000 members um, and, you know, you can basically do that with the service that you're going to choose in just a moment. So when picking a service, my service that I um, basically run, um, you know, for my agency is Facebook advertising. That is the only thing we now currently offer. Uh, we've tried everything. We've tried funnel building. We've tried a consultation. We've tried webinars. We've tried uh, social media management. We've tried a lot. And to be fair, Facebook ads for me is the most fun to do. I enjoy doing Facebook ads as a service. Uh, we are getting very good results for our clients, especially in the e-commerce niche and social media management, etc. It's just not, it was basically just unnecessary to have as an extra service. We now offer social media management where we post on the socials um, as a almost a deal sweetener for our clients, but no more as a standalone service. We only offer Facebook ads. So in your case, is there a service that you already know how to deliver results for? If you don't, then pick a value-based service and or hire a contractor. So for example, uh, copywriting. 
um, Facebook ads, funnel building, Google ads, LinkedIn ads, etc. Okay, something that you can get them a return on investment with. Pick one of those, study it on, you know, basically figure out how to do it, watch videos, invest into coaching, invest into guidance, etc. And then in the meantime, hire a contractor to do the work for you. Now, if you already know a, a service based, um, well, you know, a service that you can get results for for your clients, then think to yourself, okay, is this scalable? or is it value based or can you get a return on investment for example um you know if you can do copywriting you can earn a lot of uh, money for your clients so this is a you know basically a value based service and if that is what you can do then go all in on that if not then um you know if it's so if you know a service for example website design uh, but you can't really figure out okay how is this actually going to increase the return on investment for my clients then just pick the service for now while learning all the high ticket skill okay i'm just going to race through all these slides guys because this is all from the previous lesson write out your mission statement so once you've picked your niche and you pick the service that you're going to offer write this down for yourself i help niche get results using service in my case i help e-commerce stores get a higher return on ad spends and scale their e-com store using facebook advertisements okay and then you need to pick a method of outreach in my case it's called email outreach that is what we do we've automated it completely from start to finish so uh, for me that is the most effective and the most efficient method of doing outreach alongside that we have appointment setters and we also run facebook advertisements okay again if you want to know more about this check out the previous video so in the previous video we also mentioned how you can get to 100 uh, in this case 100 pounds a day with a uh, cold email outreach i break it down completely and then we now have arrived by the start of this training but before we begin i just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that i have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my youtube channel so basically what i've done is i have created a custom audience with google ads uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where i basically give you the direct link to download this course so it's an unpublished link on teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel so if you want a free social media marketing course all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements so without further ado let's hop back into the video obviously the title is a very clickbaity title you know how to start a six-figure business from zero and it's very common nowadays you know we call it the shock factor so a lot of people that are pushing online courses online programs etc they will basically mention that it's extremely easy it's the easiest thing ever overnight success etc and i just basically want to put this disclaimer in there because i sort of want to like you know not associate myself with any of those people and just say that building an agency is the same as building a real business because it is a real business okay you are setting up a legitimate service-based business and yes it is a business model that allows for financial freedom freedom of time and location freedom however in order to achieve this you will need to put in the work and give it everything you've got okay the business model is simple but that doesn't make it easy Okay, and what I mean by that is, you know, I can literally outline exactly what you need to do, but you will need to actually do it. You will need to put in the work, okay? For something to become uh, almost passive income, which, uh, quick disclaimer, it will never fully be passive income because you will always be tweaking and testing and building out new services or basically you know, testing out the framework, etc. But in order to get to that stage, you will need to put in massive amounts of work. So if you are not willing to put in the work and if you are looking for something that will earn you money overnight or become an overnight success, again, you know, this is probably not the the Basically, this is not, not even the channel for you, to be fair, because uh, that is not what we preach. You know, I believe in working hard, then working smart, and then basically, you know, building out and scaling the agency. Okay, so with that said, why I do think that th this is the best business model to start, I already touched upon it uh, in the start of the video, that, you know, as opposed to, um, you know, drop shipping and uh, e-commerce, etc., there is zero upfront capital needed. So a lot of people that want to go into drop shipping, etc., uh, they'll purchase a course. They'll spend a thousand on a course, which, to be fair, is a good investment if you know you are investing into a course. But then they'll go through the course. They'll know exactly how to do it, and then they'll realize, okay, for me to actually run a drop shipping store. I need to invest even more into Facebook ads. And, you know, basically you are going through a, 
uh, a big trough before you actually you know get success and drop shipping is definitely a uh, business model that works you know it's been proven time and time again i'm not saying that it doesn't work i'm just saying that if you have zero upfront capital then social media marketing is probably the best way to go okay as I mentioned here, there's almost no overhead costs because you don't need a fancy office, you don't need an expensive coffee machine, all you need is a laptop and an internet connection. You can start making money right away as opposed to uh, Amazon FBA, dropshipping, etc. You know where you need to either um, you know get products from China to a warehouse, or you know where you need to invest money upfront. Um, you know, to see which products will uh, basically become a winning product, etc. That is not the case with social media marketing. If you get a client today, you'll earn money today. And like I said, you don't need to move around products, etc. Okay, each client is worth a lot of money, a thousand upwards to 10,000 a month. Yes, you can earn or you can get clients that are much higher than that. I have never landed a client that was more than 10,000 a month at the time of recording this. So uh, that is why I said a thousand to 10,000 a month. You can either be the expert yourself or you can hire experts to fulfill for you. We will get into that in just a moment. Uh, but basically, if you do not have the knowledge or the expertise, then what you can do is you can hire a contractor to work on your behalf. And you're almost like a recruitment agency where you get the project in and you outsource the project to contractors on your team. And then obviously you take a commission or you've got a profit margin in between the price of the uh, contractor and the price of uh, or the basically the retainer fee that you receive from the client. OK, you can work from anywhere, as I said, location freedom. If you have a phone, a laptop and an Internet connection, it does not matter where you are. You can be in Bali, you can be in Rome, you can be in your basement, in your bedroom. It does not matter as long as you get the work done for your clients. There are unlimited markets to go into, so you don't have to go into a super competitive niche. Um, so, you know, obviously the, the big, most popular niches at the moment are real estate, uh, fitness, e-commerce, etc. But you don't need to necessarily go into these niches. You know, on the coaching call on Sunday, uh, we were discussing different types of niches. And for example, we had uh, roofers and contractors um, that, you know, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about and those were niches that we were going after. So again, you don't have to go into a niche that is very, very competitive. Just find out for yourself. Like I said, just go through the, 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 the steps. You know, what niches are you passionate about? What niches are you knowledgeable about? And what niches do you understand? What result they are desiring? And then from there, you can pick a niche and it does not have to be a super competitive niche, okay? If there's demand for it, then you can basically run Facebook ads or you can run a service um, to them. Okay, so there is no cap on your income. And again, disclaimer, you will need to work hard for this. You will need to keep that back door shut. If you get a client in in month one and the client leaves in month two, then it's you basically you've got a, a leaky pipe, if you will. You know, you can run the, the water flow through it, but it will just leak out and you'll keep needing to add more water to the pipe to make sure that it actually um, you know, consistently fills up. So what you need to do is get the clients through the front door and make sure that the back door stays shut so they stay in your business, okay? So when I say that, there is no cap on your income because you can have an unlimited amount of clients provided that you keep that back door shut because you can just hire more and more contractors or you can automate as much as possible. And you don't need a formal education to get started. Now, for those of you that know my backstory, I actually have my bachelor's in business and I decided not to go for my master's in business because I realized that I don't need it. I do not need a master's in business to understand all of this. You know, yes, you are running a business, but everything you need is available on the internet, either through courses, through coaching, or you know, just through hard work and you know, watching uh, other people online do the same thing. Okay, so moving on, how to start your agency with zero, and I'm basically going to divide this into three categories. You've got your upfront capital, which I already mentioned is zero, and I'll explain why in just a moment. The day-to-day -day operations, and obviously your staff and contractor costs. So when I say you have uh, you need upfront or zero upfront capital. I'm, I'm not, I'm, this is no joke, guys. You do not need anything to get started. And on the left-hand side, these are all the things that I see a lot of people mentioning. They need a company name, a company logo, a website, etc. And they say, you know, I'm, I ask them, like, how are you getting on? And then they'll say, oh, I'm, I'm almost finished building my website. And as soon as that's up, I'm going to write 10,000 blog posts. And then within the next five months, I'm hoping to get one client. Okay, that is not necessary. You need to focus on the income producing activities. 
and uh, a web having a website although it's a good addition and it's easy for clients to see that you're legit it's not necessary okay I don't think anyone actually looks at I think literally if I look at my analytics the only people that actually look at my website are people that are looking to get into SMA themselves and you want to know how a website needs to look like okay not a single client looks at my website and to be fair there's nothing on that website either all there is is a button to watch the case study and the button to schedule a free call all than that there's nothing on it because you do not need it you do not need a website same goes for the business domain you do not need a business domain you don't need to buy the business domain because a website isn't necessary. Yes, it's good to have, but when you're starting out, you need to focus on the IPAs, income producing activities, okay? Creating an email is free with Gmail, and yes, uh, you can get G Suite, you can get a business email, which uh, to be fair, I do recommend it. It is more professional. So if you can have a, in my case, rather than having um, Joshua Brampaneer at gmail.com, I have Joshua at Brampaneer.com, okay? That is my uh, business email. And it does look more professional, but when start when I started out, I just literally used my personal Gmail for everything. Same goes for company logos and the company name, etc. If you want to create a company logo, then just go to Canva.com and create one yourself. Okay. Nowadays, logos are very very simple. Anyway, you know, almost everyone uses the same font, um, and you know, it's just black and white, or you can choose your own color, etc. You don't need a fancy logo, and you don't need to spend money on getting a logo created because nowadays, like I said, all of the logos are very very simple. Okay. LinkedIn page obviously for free. Facebook page is for free as well. And the Facebook business manager, which we use to build our agency on is also free with Facebook. So if you have your own Facebook personal profile, you can create a free business manager where you run the agency through. Facebook ad accounts again are for free with the Facebook business manager. You can create up to five uh, ad accounts per business manager and it's all free with uh, Facebook. Instagram account, same again. It is all for free. Okay. So nothing here costs money you do not need anything to get started no upfront capital needed now in terms of the day-to-day -day operations this can be as expensive as you want it to be when i started out i had literally nothing okay i did not have a single piece of software because i didn't have the money to buy the software or to you know get the subscription okay so in terms of the day-to-day -day operations this is literally all i use i have a very lean mean uh, driven agency and this is all i use we have click funnels for funnel building which is 97 dollars which um, basically equals 87 euros a month and this is not needed when starting out okay as you can see on the right hand side there i've put no because if you haven't got a client you don't need to build a funnel so click funnels is not needed until you actually get the first client and this goes for every single piece of software that you see here you do not need it until you actually get the client. As soon as you get the client in, you have cash flow, and then you can invest into the software to actually fulfill the service. Zapier is an automation tool. We have the premium plan, uh, which is 25 a month, but there's also a free plan available if you're just starting out. And we've used the free plan for a very, very long time until we actually got a lead generation client where we needed to basically attach the lead forms to uh, email and Google Sheets and also to their, um, their pipe drive. So we actually moved... Uh, or we actually upgraded to the premium, but for a very, very long time, we actually used uh, the free plan of Zapier. Twilio is our text automation software, so uh, for our lead generation clients, if they become a lead, they automatically get a text message um, with you know basically information about the confirmation of the leads etc and this is not necessary if you haven't got a lead generation client if you have then you've got the cash flow to invest the 20 a month okay but again you do not need this to get started hootsuite is what we use for our um graphic design etc so our social media management clients that we no longer really have anyway you know like i said we use it as a deal sweetener for our facebook ad clients uh, we pay 29 a month for this, but if you haven't got a client, you don't need Hootsuite either. Okay, Calendly, um, we've got, I think we've got three full-time subscriptions with Calendly. Uh, we've been trying to get the whole team on Calendly, to be fair. So we pay 45 a month. I think it's 15 a month per um, account, but there's a free version available. And the only reason why we don't have the free version anymore is because we want multiple calendars within the one account and because we also want text message reminders um, 
for if you actually sign up. So if you book a call, for example, if you book a discovery call for the coaching, uh, you will get a text message reminder what time the coaching call is and um, a reminder of you know what the Zoom link is, etc. Speaking of Zoom, we pay 10 a month for this because we have the, the premium plan for Zoom as well. Why? Because the free plan limits the call to 40 minutes, which is you know usually the, the average discovery call time. Um, we use Zoom for, our, like I said, our... our inner operations so i have morning check-ins with my head of operations and we use zoom for that usually it's an hour long i also use zoom for my coaching calls on sunday and uh, with some of our clients we have long strategy sessions etc so that is why we have upgraded but zoom also has a free version like i said or the only difference is that you are limited to 40 minutes which is long enough to actually close a client and then you know give you the cash flow to invest into the premium version of zoom and then we have our contract software and again you don't need a contract software we use it for automation purposes um which we, we pay 10 euros a month for it uh, there's a free trial available so if you actually want the contract software to close the clients you can actually use the free trial if not if you haven't got clients and you're not on the verge of closing a client you do not need the free trial nor do you need the paid version okay so that is it in terms of the day-to-day operations as you can see you do not need a lot of money to start this you do not need any upfront capital to get started and the software that does cost money is not needed until you actually get a client Okay, and the same goes for staff and contractor costs. Um, I haven't actually got the prices of this here because it's basically you know up to you to negotiate prices with your media buyers, your virtual assistants, etc. So within our agency now, we have media buyers on backup. Um, for those that don't know, I'm actually running all the ads myself now. Why? Because I want to really become an expert at Facebook advertisements. Um, so for me, you know, it's not a big deal to run the ads myself but we do have media buyers on backup uh, just in case the workload is too much or if i want to take time off or if i feel that i've learned enough and you know from there i just want a media buyer to do the rest for me we have them at backup virtual assistants for emailing um support etc again this is something that um, you know, you negotiate the price for. You can get various assistance extremely cheap from India, Bangladesh, etc. And if they have a, as you know, bad as it sounds, if they have a foreign first name, then what you can do is you can just say, is it okay if you run, um, or I don't know, our support under the following name? Okay. So let's say, to be fair, I won't know a name any names, but if you you can just give them a generic name. Um, if you don't want the virtual assistant to use their own name, then we have a COO, also known as head of operations, um, which is Elliot. For those of you that have been in the, or I've, I've had a discovery call for the coaching, that is what he uh, is currently focusing on, as well as uh, just like the whole operational side of the agency. Again, um, he's just on a full time pay, so we don't really have like a, a contractor cost or anything like that. He's just on full time. We've got graphic designers data miners and then uh, we don't actually have funnel builders but i can understand that a lot of people um would actually get a funnel builder if they don't have click funnels themselves but all of these costs come after the client comes in okay so when i started out the very first um, thing i outsourced was graphic design because at the time i offered social media management as my own only service and for social media management, I then outsourced it to a graphic designer, which I think at the time was like 30 euros. I got the client in for 600. So, you know, obviously there was a good uh, profit margin there, a healthy profit margin, but I only outsourced it when I got the client. So I did not pay the 30 euros before I got the client, I did it after. So the money came in from the client, I then paid the contractor, took my profit margin, and then spent the time finding more clients, okay? From there, I understood that Facebook ads was more of the way to go. You, know, you can get more of a return on investment for your clients with Facebook ads. So then I looked into media buyers, virtual assistants, etc. Okay, so that is it in terms of staff and software costs. And listen, you guys, that is how you can start an agency from scratch. Zero upfront capital needed. All you need to do is work hard. Okay, as you can see, as you can see here, all you need is work ethic. As I mentioned at the start of this lesson, you know, it's not a get rich quick scheme, but it is definitely a get rich quicker scheme, okay? You can earn a lot of money with uh, social media marketing, having a Facebook ads agency, and it is a great business model to get into if you're willing to put in the work, okay? And if you are on the verge of, you know, starting your agency and you want my personal help to do so, I also offer, uh, like I said, I also have my own coaching program where I basically offer my own assistance. I will literally 
come into your own agency and help you build it out from scratch. You'll get access to my course. You'll get personal access to me via WhatsApp and you'll also get access to the group coaching calls that are every single Sunday. So we will literally be speaking, you know, face to face. You know, I will literally know your name, know who you are, etc. And you'll basically be speaking to me on a daily basis about your agency until you build that up to six figures. And I just want to show you a quick a video from uh, Mateus who's in our coaching program as well and he actually recorded this when I think he signed his second client or his first client I'm not entirely sure now uh, he's actually at 5k a month right now with his agency and he is you know basically um, now looking into moving out um, of his parents home etc you know it's it's amazing to see his progress in such a short amount of time and his work ethic is just inspiring just he works extremely hard to build up his business and he's basically now um, you know, enjoying the fruits of his labor. So I just want to quickly show you guys his testimonial before wrapping up this video. Hi everyone, my name is Mateus, I'm 23 years old. I live in Lisbon, Portugal, but I'm from Brazil. And let me tell you a little bit now about my SMMA journey so far. So I started my company back in October 2019 and I'm recording this in January, so it's been three months so far, and I haven't been successful. And I tried everything. I tried knocking on doors, I tried cold calling, cold email, I tried Facebook outreach, and nothing worked for me. But the thing is, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I needed guidance. And it was a struggle because every single month I had to pay taxes, even though I wasn't bringing in any revenue for my business, which is terrible actually and I decided to make another investment in myself and I decided to buy Joshua's lifestyle lifestyle design community course and coaching group and it was like magic because right now this is January 27th and yesterday I signed my first client for a 1500 monthly retainer and it was thanks to Josh man, to his guidance, to his coaching calls, to his sales scripts, to every single resource we have available to us inside the coaching group. It's, it's like magic. It, it, it really feels amazing not having to worry about how you're going to survive the next month. And it's been an amazing journey so far. Even though I had so many failures, I'm glad I didn't quit. And I'm glad I bought the course because it was everything for me and thank you Josh for everything you do with for us the grouping call is amazing and like everybody has something to bring to the table we all exchange ideas we're all aspiring entrepreneurs that are slowly building our agencies and Joshua has more experience obviously and that's why he's leading this group but yeah, best investment ever. I'm happier than ever that I've ever been in my life, actually. And it was all thanks to Josh and to everybody in the coaching group that that helps a lot. So thank you very much. If you're thinking about buying the Lifestyle Design Community course and coaching group, please do it. You will never regret that investment. Okay, so talk to you guys next time. Bye bye. Okay, that's uh, inspiring ways for Mateus there. And as you can see, guys, you know, he mentioned that um, he put in a lot of work and a lot of time. And yes, you know, he spent a few months trying to figure out on his own, but he realized that he needed to invest into guidance before he could actually, you know, get success. And, you know, that is, to, to, first of all, to accept the fact that, okay, you know, you can't do this on your own is completely normal. You know, there's nothing wrong with investing into guidance, investing into a course, investing into coaching, etc. because you'll just cut your learning curve in half. You know, if he would have, like he mentioned, you know, he spent three months trying to figure it out on his own and then as soon as he did invest into guidance and he had that roadmap, you know, he got his first clients in the first month and as I already mentioned, you know, this was January uh, at the time of recording this, we're in June now and he's at 5K a month. So he's 5X the size of his agency in just a few short months. So if you want to look into the coaching program yourself, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can hop on a uh, basically a free discovery call with either me, myself personally or with uh, Elliot, my head of operations 
we can see if we're a good fit for each other. You know, we don't take on everyone. If we don't think that we can actually help you, then we won't actually take you on as a, uh, you know, a, basically a coaching student. If we wholeheartedly believe that we can push you to that next level, you know, we will offer you a spot in the program. Uh, but I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching. If you want, uh, or if you have any more questions for me and you want to start with a free social media marketing beginner course, uh, it is all available in the Lifestyle Design community. Free access, it's just a free Facebook group where we basically connect with uh, like-minded people, etc. And uh, you can ask your questions here. I am very active in this group, so I will personally answer your question if you ask them in the group. But for now, I'm wrapping up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. Leave this video with a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.